Casero, 1400 meters, that's it. And away they go from the 1400 meter mark. And Midnight Gold was slow to go. Mr. Maloney's keen and at the rail. Bless me, Fred is also strong. Bold Premier Casero. Roy's July Magic is off them. That's with the orange cap. At this stage, running rifles. The pink cap is between runners. Is racing about five or six lengths off them. Mr. Maloney's very aggressive. Batika's on the outside of runners. And then comes Duke of Orange, the blue with the black cap. Senor Lupus further back in the run. Then Triton. Further back in the run is Napoleon. Then comes Tom Zack, Midnight Gold and Sir Theodore about 16 lengths off the leader. Bolt Premier takes it up. Bless me, Fred is at the rail second. Mr. Maloney, Casero and Royce July Magic. Running Rifles is back in that sixth position with the pink cap going to come around them. On the inside, Duke of Orange getting the wake-up call then, Patika. Behind that is Senor Lupo. Top of the lane and Running Rifles comes right out and is coming forward now to strike the lead. Bold Premier's on the inside, then Bless Me Fred down the inside, Casero. Running Rifles though by two or three. On the outside of that one, Mr. Maloney, Bold Premier and then comes Duke of Orange. But Running Rifles is clear by four or five. Five lens running on from behind is Napoleon running rifles though in front by two or three and running rifles will win it second will go to Napoleon third place to Duke of Orange and fourth to Triton number four running rifles the Virgin Jedrix wins it for Nick Johnson Justin Snaith Anton Marcus the hot favorite at 130 gets eased out at the line but a couple of strides after the line Anton was still trying to get hold of him because he really still wants to run does running rifles and he wins it and bred by Mr. Van Skulkvake wins by about three second to number eight and that is Napoleon which pays up 560 a plays third to number seven and that is Duke of Orange and then number 13 Triton further back is Patika then Mr. Maloney who was strong in the early stages Midnight Golds on the outside Casera, Bold Premier and Sir Theodore we'll take a look at that head on shortly and running rifles came forward to hit the front early Anton still got this one under the hands at this stage and then they get a good four or five lengths on the second horse and that's Napoleon on the right hand side with the pink sleeves but it is all running rifles so running rifles a runaway winner of the second race at 1.30 until the running of the third back to the studio Welcome back to the winner's enclosure. Popular result, number four, Running Rifles winning from number eight, Napoleon. So one, two for the Justin Snaith team. William is the winning groom. So well done. You get your 1,000 Rand voucher from Hollywood Bets and Gold Circle. Well done. Megan's going to come through and have a chat. Now let's firstly touch on the second horse, a monster of a horse. Yeah, he's very big. We measured him a few months ago after he just came in and he... He'd already measured at 17 hands then as a two-year-old. So wow, yeah. what a horse. No, he's a beautiful horse. Um, um, yeah, so, so you, should, you should run a better race next time. You know, last start he was sleeping a bit in his race. So very, very impressed with this run. Now getting back to the winner, running rifles. Yeah. Pre-race, he gave you a bit of a torrid time? Yeah, he gave us a bit of a hard time. We had a bit of a workout out there in the back. Um, he shook all of his equipment off as soon as he walked into the ring. So we had to put everything back on. He's quite a hot horse. Um, Anton suggested to try the blinkers this time and it uh, paid off for him. So, well done. He came through with flying colours and that's the main yeah, thing. Yeah. Um, well done to, to Justin and to Jono, to Mr. Johnson, um, and also to his breeders, Mr. Van Skalkwijk. Well done. Thanks very much. Well, that's the running of the second race. Number four, running rifles has come through to win for Nick Johnson. The Van Skalkwijk's bred the son of Versen Jetterex. Had a word with Anton Marcus. He said this was his plum for the day. And Mac 4, that's probably his next best. He's hoping could run into the money. The rest of his runners, he's boxing along, but he's just grateful that he's got a win with running rifles.